Let's take a look at our calendar. We'll start at the top. The calendar itself we can add events to and we can choose what events we view. In the upper right hand corner you have a plus button and you have a gear icon for settings. To add an event we select the plus button and we can either choose add an event, edit a schedule, or add office hours. Now basically all of these look the same. If I select add an event, I'll be asked which calendar do I want to add to, I'll be asked when do I want to display the information, and how often do I want to display it. As an instructor, the one that you probably want to start with is the add office hours for your course. I'll go ahead and select that and you'll see that it says office hours for my name. I could change this. I'm not going to, but I could. Then I'm going to add the calendar to all courses, teach an organization and lead. I could change this to specific courses as well if I needed to. What I like about this is you can set up what days and times you're available. You can set it to recur. You can type in your office location and a description on how to set up office hours with you. Then you can save this. All of these events basically work the same way. If we look at the calendar settings, you have the ability to show or turn on or turn off uh, which calendars you see. Okay, so you can have a lot of calendars available um, where I think things may get a little bit cluttered or you can be a little bit more selective and choose which calendars you want to view. So if you have too much going on for things that may have come and gone, you might want to go ahead and look at this at calendar settings. Below this we have a schedule and we have due dates. Schedule basically just gives you the general calendar whether you're set to the day or the month view. I personally like the month view but some people may prefer the day view. Go ahead and set this to month and then instead of looking at the schedule I'm going to select due dates and you'll notice that I can see if anything is due today this month and when I do just due dates it will show me any type of things that are upcoming and when they're due or past due. I'll go ahead and go back to my schedule and maybe I'll just set that back today. Next we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at our messages.